Grabe ka rin. Congratulations for another project. Yes. Nag-speaking na ba sa'yo si Audrey? Yes. Uh, unti-unti na siya talagang nag invade sa bawat sulok ng buhay ko. Minsan, parang susulpot siya na, Hi, everybody! Oh my God! <laughs> um, so, it, it's quite fun. Um, hindi ko alam kung umabot sa'yo yung balita. But this is my favorite musical when I was a kid pa lang. And as a laser disc baby, as a person who listened to the tape of this all the time, parang hindi ko alam na marami rin pala na may paborito nito. So, nat- natuwa ako dahil first time ko ata na hindi pa na- na-announce that we can sell tickets. Ang dami na nag-reserve na mumulit, but they want to watch. So, it's like, ano panood nyo rin ba when we were kids? I guess, wala naman tayo masyadong choices back then. So, um, I guess a lot of people loved it. And si Rick Moranis, kasi was very, very much popular, di ba? He did Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, etc. So, um, the material pa lang is so special to a lot of people. What do you love the most about the material? Kasi as a kid, syempre yung, yung uh, tema nito, dark comedy. Medyo dark comedy, but it was so weird kasi there's a plant from outer space, di ba? That just suddenly showed up on the streets, di ba? Of downtown. So, I think think, and this is a recent discovery na lang, uh, yung pair, the musical genius is behind the, the show. It's Howard Ashman and Alan Minkin. So sila rin pala yung gumawa ng Aladdin, Little Mermaid, na paborito ko rin, Beauty and the Beast. So, kung may algorithm man back then, ah, kaya pala, pasok sila sa algorithm ng mga gusto ko music-wise. Um, so this is their work before all those big Disney films. Mm-hmm. So sabi ko, ah, kaya pala. <laughs> Parang pasok na pasok sa timpla, sa, sa panlasa. Oh, oh. Okay. So, how did you feel when you ano, got the role? Actually, si Yael yung na-invite mag, mag-audition. But I got it wrong. Ako rin naman pala, ma-invite. Pero nung tinanong kasi ako, okay ba si Yael mag-audition? Sabi ko, yeah, he's okay to audition. But... You know, Sponge Cole is very much alive and kicking, and um, they do so many gigs. So for him to sacrifice the band for a couple of months, hindi siya mangyayari. Kasi ganun niya kamahal yung band niya. They just came out with tatlong buwan, you know. Um, today, like this morning, nando sila sa Basaan, sa Cavite. So hindi niya magagawa to, as much as you can just say... I will stop all my work and devote all my time. And as a child of the theater din, alam niya na it requires your full commitment. So sabi ko, he's not gonna do it. So ikaw? Ako, for sure, I love to do it. Ang pagkakaintindi ko nung una, hindi ako invited to audition. But you know, I said, I'm gonna audition even if you're not inviting me because it's my favorite. So um, the fact that I got it, it's always a question mark, that whole period where you don't know if you got the role or not. And it's always a bit... Well, naman, sabit nyo na. But it's never that simple because they also consider pairings. So you have to respect the whole waiting process. And the problem, siguro, with being um, in that wait period, everybody around you, na, alam nila nag audition ka, tatanungin ka nila, ano, na mo na ba? Mas parang, di pa eh, okay, magulo. <laughs> so it's always a bit nerve-wracking that whole waiting process. But finally, you got the role. Mm-mm. But Kelly, um, how do you feel acting and playing for the role and for the play na sobrang minahal at inaidolize mo nung bata? Was it more, was Uh-oh. easier for you? Or you have that challenge na, oh, this is my favorite? Actually, movie. ang weird kasi siguro yung mas favorite kong characters hindi si Audrey. Uh-huh. So, mas favorite ko yung chorus. So, Um, ang maganda rin siguro doon, uh, kunwari, pag yung chorus na yung kumakanta, which is Abby, Paula, and Mikey or Julia, nag enjoy ako, and it's not my part, which just helps me parang in the scenes in the middle to remember na, okay, just have fun, don't be so tense. Um, pero yung mga parts ko, siguro ngayon ko mas minamahal yung songs ng character na si Audrey. Admittedly, um, I love the, the other songs more. Wow. Yeah. What are your takeaways from from the from the play from the material? 
Ang uh, gusto ko siguro yung meron siyang malalim na aral. Um, it's wrapped around this crazy story, but um, we have to be careful kasi one day baka yung buong human race makain tayo ng plants. And kung ano man yung enemy na yun, hindi natin alam kung ano bang kakain sa atin, sa pagkatao natin, sa greed natin. So, ang ganda ng message niya na ganun. Parang there's a song, in the end, it's don't feed the plants. And bahala ka na to fill in the blanks. What is this um, blank that you're feeding the plants that may possibly wipe out our race? Diba? It's still relevant na yun. Very much relevant. Yeah. Um, however you want to interpret it, I think uh, malalagyan mo siya na isang malalim na meaning na talaga naman nakakatuwa kasi... It's a fun musical. Correct. Of course, invite na our audience to watch the shows. Go ahead, please. Yes, to theater. Sorry, to theater goers, young and old. If you've never watched a theater production, please, please come and watch Little Shop of Horrors. It's happening this July, all weekends of July, at the Maybank Performing Arts Theater. It's actually the Globe Theater, and uh, you can get your tickets at Ticket World and follow at the Sandbox Co. for details.